Alright, what's happening everyone? It's Abdallah back again with another episode of Fire Emblem! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> um, on our previous episode, we saved Merlinus from a group of bandits. Now he's aboard with us, so uh, let's see what's going on. A droll merchant named Merlinus now joins Elowood's group. With Merlinus in tow, they set out for Laos the following day. Laos is located in the heart of Lycia, a territory ruled by the power-hungry Marquess of Laos, Lord Darren. Preparations for the war of which the Ferran Magistrate spoke. The disappearance of Elowood's father, Elbert. The death of Marquess Santarus. Do these all revolve around Lord Darren? In Elowood's heart, the need for truth is drowned in fear. A fear of what that truth may hold. Dun dun dun. Chapter 14, False Friends. Are you certain? Frey's heir is here? Yes, father. We've just received word from our lookouts. He's still beyond that hill, but he'll be here before long. Lord Effidel, what is the meaning of this? Perhaps when they reached Santeru's castle, Lord Helmand was still clinging to life. You can't be serious. He couldn't have lasted too long, but maybe he told them something. That's terrible! Our plan is it all for naught, is it? No need to be alarmed, my lord. Even if he told young Elowood something of our schemes, Foray no longer has any power. All Elowood could do is perhaps inform Marquess Ostia. Ostia? That would be ruinous! Lord Uther may be young and new to the throne, but he's dangerous. That adult padded Hellman, he was a coward to the end. To betray us now when we're so close, we only need a little more time to complete our plans for rebellion. Then before Marquess Ostia becomes aware of any of this, you would do well to stop them here. Yes, you're right, of course, we do have a chance. They have to pass through Laos to get to Ostia. We can still silence them. They must not pass, no matter the cost. Let us make haste, call our finest troops. Father, please, let me take command. Eric, tell me, son, can you succeed? That Claude Elowood and, and I studied together in Ostia. He's a trusting fool. If he sees me, he'll lower his guard. And when he does, we strike. I see. I beg your pardon. Is this not too much for him? If, by strange chance, he fell, things could turn for the worse. No. I know I'm the lad's father, but Eric's quite clever, I tell ya. Snuffing Foray's whelp will be no problem at all. It's settled. It's up to you now, Eric. Bring me the head of Foray's darling son. Yes, father, I will not fail you. Look around. They truly are preparing for battle. Marquess Laos, what is he scheming? Hmm... You don't much look like you want to go to the castle. If we go and learn the truth, we may have to go to war. That's fine with me. I... I've no love for war. If I concentrate on the foe before me, I'm fine. If I picture families, innocents caught up in our foolish politics, if I imagine them, all I can do is pray for a way to solve things peacefully. Elowood. Lord Elowood, a knight has ridden forth from the castle. A lone knight? Yes, my lord. Our scout says it's Marquess Laus's son, Eric. He's asking to see you. Eric? Gah! Why did I... Why did they have to be that buffoon? I will see him. Bring him here. I'm leaving. I can never abide him. I'll go for a ride and survey our surroundings. Hello! It's been a long time, Elliewood. Eric, what's your business? My business? What do you mean? I heard my friend was here in Laos. I merely thought I'd ride out to greet you. Hmm... So tell me, friend, what brings you to Laos? Are you on your way to Ostia? Hmm, why would you think that? Well, you were always such good friends with Hector. He and I never got along very well. For a noble, his behavior was crude. His manner of speech... You would have thought him to be a peasant on first glance. You're still friends with Hector, aren't you? When did you see him last? How do you communicate? Eric, you're after something. What is it? Pardon? Everywhere I look, Laos prepares for battle. What are you and your father planning? 
I will know the truth. Hmm, I'd hoped to wait until you told me of Ostia. Of whether you've spoken with the Marquess or not. What are you talking about? Eh, 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 eh. Elliwood, I have always despised you. How long I have to smash you and your pathetic morality into pieces. I've dreamed of this day, and here it is at last. Too bad you'll not live to see the end of it. Hector! You, Hector! You couldn't. Have you spoken with Ostia already? Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Elliwood, this mongrel has troops lying in ambush all around us. Laos regulars, everyone, we're in for a rough time. Heh <laughs> heh, there is little point in fighting, you're trapped. My forces will overwhelm you. An unending torrent of soldiers. Laos's elite knights are at the ready as well. Heh heh heh, how long do you think you can survive? Craven Kerr! <laughs> A world of trouble you've landed yourself in, yes? Who? You startled me, old woman. You should get out of here. This is going to be a bad place to stay if you plan on living. I want to see the one searching for his father. Marquez Ferre's son. Listen up, old woman. You're close to death as it is. Quit your yammering and move on. Hector, you should mind your manners. I'm Elliwood. May I ask your name, milady? Ho ho ho, what a polite young man. I'm Hannah, a fo fortune teller. I came here to help you. Can you tell me where my father's gone? No, but I can see other things, useful things. I can tell you what weapons to take into battle, as well as who should wield them, things of that nature. I see. Don't tell me you believe any of this. I have no reason to believe or disbelieve in Hannah's powers, but I'll, I'll rule out anything if it helps me find my father. Lord Elwood, Lord Hector, I make my living as a humble merchant. If you have any items you no longer le need, please let poor Merlinus take them. Hey, 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 I'm here too. Speak to me for auguries before you engage the enemy. My services are not free, but they may save you from paying a greater price. Okay, so uh, let's look around. Let's trade some stuff up. Uh, Marcus, you don't need all this fun stuff. So, you can give your steel sword up. You can also give your vulnerary up to someone who doesn't have one. Oswin, or even Barter, you can have it. And I noticed I bought some javelins before, so let's trade those with people who need better ones. So, you, you could trade that with him. Um, how about... Uh, yeah, here, you can trade that new one with his. Perfect. What about Hector? You're good. Yeah, you guys are good. Actually, you know what, Marcus? Yeah, you're you're set, my man. Okay, fortune, valuable battle information can be viewed here, as well as a tactician data. Okay, so fortune, let's look. Rank? Ooh, wow, great. Okay. You are doing well. Pray continue your efforts. So, tactics, I think the only reason why our tactics are low is because we, um, we like to stand around and you know, experience everyone else, so we waste those turns doing it. But nonetheless, you know, I, I could care less. Tactician, here we go, there's your rating, I got one star, very cool, I don't know what that means. Augury, let's see. Hey, 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 so you seek insight into your next battle? Will you pay my price? Fifty gold! Alright, let's do it. Many of your foe will be carrying spears. You should take axes. Yes, many axes. Hmm, and if that shrewish cleric girl is with you, take her as well. She might, well, meet an old friend. The weather, though, it doesn't look very good. Be prepared for sudden changes. You know, you should take a rapier. It will serve you well against many a foe. That is all I see. No, I don't want to hear it again. Is that so? I'll be seeing you soon enough, I'm sure. All right, you old lady, I could care less about you. All right, let's check the map. All right, so taking a look at the map, we're all starting over here. Uh, we've got a couple houses to visit here if we wanted to. Two guys over here. Moving on down, looks like there's some forts. Not bad, so recruits can come out of these forts and start attacking us. Uh, moving on down, ooh, cool. Looks like there's a vendor. Uh, there's an armory as well. This guy's guarding these little houses here. Um, also, we've got the village. Um, and then, ooh, wow, everyone's over here, wow. And then here's the castle. Uh, looks like another house and another village. 
So it looks like we're going to have to maybe split up into a couple teams. You know, one to go the top route to get this village, and then the rest pretty much to go down and over to get these guys. And then maybe split off even further in order to get to this village. So let's move some people around. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring Sarah. Oop. Oh, not even yet. We're not even moving yet. Oh yeah, hold on here. We gotta go to formation. Okay. Bring Sarah over. Right. You over. Hector. Bring you there. You're gonna be there. Okay. Pretty decent. So we'll have this team pretty much go up top here. These guys over here will be able to knock out these guys and just move on forward. Alright, let's do this. Lord Elwood, shall I join you? If you deploy my tent, I can help out with equipment. I can switch items for you and hold them if your packs are full. However, my tent cannot be moved about, so if you deploy it, I will require a guard. I beg your understanding. Merlinus' merchant tent can be deployed on this map. If you deploy the tent, any items you cannot carry can be sent to the tent. However, the tent is vulnerable to enemy attack. If the tent loses all its HP, it'll vanish from the map and remain unavailable till next map. Merlinus' uh, tent gains one level for every battle it survives. The tent will be harder to destroy as it increases in level. Deploy Merlinus? Absolutely. Abdala Nation! Let me take the point. There may be many of them, but numbers are meaningless. We are Knights of Foray. These mice of Laos will never defeat us. Alright. Hey, hey, who's that familiar face? Hmm. We certainly could stand some assistance. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. If we disobey Marques Laos, who knows what might happen to us. I understand. We'll seek our aid elsewhere. You'll find the same answer everywhere you go. Eventually, you'll have, you'll have to do as the Marquess orders. You would do well to tell your employer the same thing. Hmm, good day to you. Yeah, Urk! Welcome back, buddy! Anyway, we're ready to go, aren't we? Alright, let's get this party started. Um, Sarah has got to talk to Urk, because they were friends in the previous chapters, as we remembered. Um, but before venturing out there, yikes, let's... Um, Let's see what's going on. Okay, so she can go up top square. Iron sword or javelin. 14 times 2. Let's do it right here. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter where we go. We can go right here. And you won't even bother hitting me. Go, got him twice. Excellent. All right, now Sarah, go for it. Um, uh oh, now Sarah is open to attack. Not good, but here's what we'll do to fix that. Okay, here you know what, guy, can you actually go there? Trade with you. You'll be some. You'll be bait to, make, to finish off our blockade. All right, Hector, you can come on out. Great, Matthew. What you need to do? Well, let's take a look at everyone's inventory. Whew, he's got a vulnerary. Um, who else has everything? That's it. Okay. Ooh, wow. I saw this. Okay, Eric's got a silver lance that he'll drop. Um, steal a sword and a vulnerary and some more vulnerary. So, you know what? This guy's got one, so let's take it. Give me that. He's like, oh, what the? <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can do. Iron Axe, 12. Hand Axe. I think we'd be safer right here with the hand axe. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a draw. Not good. Now everyone else is going to have to pick up the pieces. 
Alright, let's killing edge this guy. Come on, get a crit, guy. Yes! Do a backflip crit! Yes! Thank you so much. Way to go, buddy. Alright, let's go from behind and hit you with a 13 power. Yes, plus four, great. How much do you have? Seven? How much are you gonna do it on? Five? Uh, not good. That's fine, you'll do something. And look who has to finish him off. Throw that javelin at him. Don't miss. Good. There we go. Here they all come. Ooh. Yes. And nope. Not twice. That's fine. Whoa. Marcus finally comes out to battle. But he's so strong he doesn't even bring weapons. Priscilla, has your escort returned yet? No, he left yesterday in search of a way out of here. I just hope the soldiers of Laos haven't captured him. His search for help must have been fruitless. Marquez Laos has ordered that no aid be given to you. There's really nothing that any of us can do. I apologize, but... No, no, you can turn me over to the Marquess, and yet you continue to grant me asylum. I'm grateful for that. Of course, I simply went to the castle. If I simply went to the castle, this would all be over. Don't fret over that. None of us are overly fond of the Marquess. He's always threatening us. He treats us like slaves. All these war preparations, we want nothing to do with them. We may be divided into territories, but we Lycians, one and all. And we may be invaded by another country one day. Why does he want to start a war here at home? None of us understand what he's doing. All right, all right. Let's go, let's fight. 13, 14. Actually, you know what? Yes! There we go, a support conversation between my two favorite characters, Hector and Elliwood. Let's do it. Ah, Elliwood, it's good to see you're still well. Hmm, you expected otherwise? No, of course not. I knew you'd be fine. Hector, wait for a moment. What did you want? Nothing. It's enough to see that you that you live and are still fighting. Just wanted to make sure you weren't overdoing it with me not around. I should say the same to you. Me? Don't worry about me, I'm fine. I'm built tough, you know. A little too much is just enough for me. But you, you've never been a hardy one, Elliwood. Nor are you used to travel. Go on too long and you'll collapse. We're all weaklings compared to you, Hector. Thankfully, wars are not won by strength alone, eh? We've been sparring once every two months since we were 12. And of 30 matches, 14 I won, 12 I lost, and 4 were draws. Uh, I think not. I recall 31 matches, and even 13-13 split with 5 draws. Yes, well, you recall wrong. I'm in the right. Hmm. Now what makes you so certain? Whose snoring was it that shook the rafters in numbers class? Ah, good point. Still, I'm touched you were worried about me. Now, back to the fray. Hey, hey, wait! Blast! <laughs> Hector falling asleep in math class. Come on now, buddy. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to beat up some people here. Yeah, go ahead and beat him up. There we go, finishing him off. Okay, you need to talk to this guy. Talk to Herc. Oh my gosh, it's Irk! It's been so long! What are you doing here? Oh, Sarah, you're the last person I wanted to see. Oh, that's so sweet. You wanted to see me again. Hmm. Hey, I know. This is perfect. Come with us and lend a hand, Irk. I beg your pardon? Come on. I'll even introduce you to Lords Hector and Elliewood. I know you. You're probably just wandering about without work. No, Sarah, I'm afraid I'm gainfully employed, however. If you're fighting Laos, this might work out after all. 
What are you babbling about? Make up your mind, will you? My employer is hiding in a village south of here. If you'll help me protect her, I'll join up with you. Okay, so now we got Urk. Welcome back, buddy guy. Welcome back. Tough. Okay, got it. I'll attack you from afar. Oh yeah! Good job, Lowen. Great accuracy there, buddy. Whoa, plus five. Excellent, dude. Well worth it. Okay, you stay there. Okay, now you guys are done fighting. Good. Let's move on now. Can you guys? Oh yeah, you'll be able to hit me. Stay here and support. Alright, and then you two guys can move on out. Okay, we're done here. What are you gonna do? Two? Fourteen, try that. Want another one? Hmm, you could have it. Oh god. Nine. Ouch. Gosh. That hurts. Okay. Alright, you're gonna attack Marcus. Marcus is just not even gonna flinch. Oh, and you're gonna shoot Elwood. Nice. You're so gonna get it for that. And guess who's gonna deliver that blow? Hey, what's all this? Looks like a war has broken out. Ah, 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 perfect. Time for a raid. Up and at him, mates. That village is ripe for plunder. Village is ripe for plunder, huh? Hmm, yeah, right. Alright, busting my javelin out. Here we go. Alright, alright, let's do this, guys. Let's come on out. The party's just starting. Okay, so now I need to heal you. Let's see, what can you... Okay, you can go there and start attacking that guy. I'll stand right here. Actually, I can stand here. That's perfect, yes, that's even better. Okay, let me thunder this guy out. Destroy him. With the power of thunder. There we go. Okay, now you can heal him. Welcome back, Urk. Alright, now, what we'll do is we'll bring you as fodder. right here. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Okay, let's destroy this guy. Oh, where are the crits at? No crits for you, Elliwood? Two, three, four... No, just two. That's not bad. And X, yeah. Let me destroy this guy. There we go. No, no! <laughs> that was accidental. Wow. Okay. Alright, Matthew, you're gonna move on. None of these horse guys can actually hit Matthew, right? Yeah, forget that. 
Actually, yeah, they can. This one can go all the way around and hit him if he wanted to. I'll go right here. No! Wrong guy. Alright, you would run away. An attempt to hit Dorcas. Are you kidding? Mmm, you will fail. What are you gonna do? Two? There we go. Take care of business, Loan. Lo and behold. What are you gonna do? Three? That's nothing. I will eat those all day. Ouch. How about 11? There we go, Barter. Level up. Making it happen. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, just th four. That's not bad. That's actually very good. I'm happy. Thank you. And you're just gonna dink my little armor there. Bam! 14. You're lucky I can't give you another. Mmm, my bones ache. The signs point to rain, yes? Watch yourselves. Okay. So signs pointing to rain, huh? Thunder this guy. Bam! Way to go, work. There we go. Hollywood, welcome. Come on, you're always just one behind what I need to be. Rebecca! Mm, Matthew? No, Matthew, you need, to, you need to go down and fight that pirate. Who's gonna get the final blow? Lowen? Hector? Yeah. No, actually, you know what? Yeah, Hector, do it. Do it, do it, bam! Just so you level up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's four, that's good. Four is great. Wait, okay, so just in case. Oh, come on. That was a big whiff. What happened? Yeah! Okay, so who's guarding Merlinus? <laughs> um... Blast! They're stronger than I supposed! To the castle! I want all reinforcements available. And I want them now! Lord Eric is struggling. He requests reinforcements. What? Ready the men. Unbelievable. These numbers cannot stop them. Ephidol, wh what are you doing? It seems that conquering Lycia might have been too much to ask of you after all. I must inform my master. The Black Fang will be leaving at once. No! No, you... you can't abandon us. Not at this stage. Who was it that said Ostia mustn't learn of our plans? Wasn't it you, Lord Darren? The Marquess of Laos himself? Yes, it was. There's no turning back for me, not now. P please one more, give me one more chance. I assure you, I will not disappoint Lord Nergal. Very well, assemble your men. We will regroup elsewhere. Eh? You can't mean... My son, my home, am I to abandon them? Would you fall in dis would you fall in disgrace along with your son? Our master, Lord Nergal, is offering you the throne of all of Lycia. Surely a few sacrifices are not too much to ask. Yes, you're right. My destiny is greater than this. 
I was born to be king of Lycia. And as for an heir, you're still young, my lord. You will have time. You must not let a moment sentimentality cloud your judgment. Where are my reinforcements? Why haven't they come? I have no choice. I must attack. You, to the castle. Find more men. Yes, my lord. Ooh, pirates. Yarr. Ooh, slice. And a slice right back. Ouch. Barter, you need some health, buddy. Alright, there we go. Come on, Marcus. Uh-oh. The rain. Here comes the rain. Alright, Urk, you can finish this guy off. Here we go, buddy. Just like I knew you did. Just like way back then. Luck! Oh, come on! Talk about a ripoff, man. Alright, looks like I'm just tossing javelins at this guy. Hoya! Alright, Sarah, you can, I guess, stay back. Hector needs one little point of health. Oh, there's a pirate here. Matthew or Guy? Well, Guy can kill this guy. Yeah. 13. And... Yes. Crit. Oh, where's that backflip at? Come on, guy named Guy. Let's go, dude. Here we go. This is how you do it. See, Matthew shows how, done, how it's done fighting pirates all day. And increasing that weapon level. 13. Oof. Alright, Sarah. That's it. What are you gonna do? Nine? Oh, oh good. I was gonna say. Yeah, right in the head. Nice try. What do you got? Okay. Can't really move anywhere. This sucks. <laughs> I guess I'll throw one more spear at the guy. Actually, you know what? Should I throw a spear at him? <laughs> With this guy? That'd be funny. Or a spear upwards. Yar! <laughs> no. No, you got your own stuff to mess around with. You can hide in the bushes there. Finish him off, come on. Unfortunately. You know what, I could. No, I can't. <laughs> I keep moving those guys around like they're gonna actually go somewhere. How much, you got 13 health? Alright, let's wait. What's going on with you guys? You guys gonna wait over here just in case they call out more reinforcements? Go for it. Alright, that's making me nervous over here, Merlinus. Alright. Wow. Marcus is taking a beating. This rain's gotta go away. Mm-hmm. This rain will end shortly. Oh my god, more guys. Okay. 
I need to race back. Okay, Matthew, you can race back. Okay, and you can too. You guys can both double team them. These twins will come on down here. Eh, twins! And I don't think I'll need a vulnerary. Let's go to this vendor. General store. Ooh, there we go. I'll buy one of those, one of those. Mm, I'll buy one more. How about, ooh, fire? Yeah. And some vulneraries. One, two, I think three's good. All right. <clears throat> selling, buying and selling. Here we go. Yes, I'm right here. You gonna attack him yet or what? Oh, you guys are keeping still? Or we're inching forward? Should I just kill this guy for them? Yeah. What if I miss though? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Hector. Thanks for the bailout upstairs. We needed that big time. Alright, fine. Come on, you guys can't move that far? This is like... <laughs> Alright, let's visit this place. You're battling Eric and his men, right? Let me tell you, I'm on your side. My granddaughter, Marques Laos, took her away. He found her pretty and forced her to the castle. It's not much, but please take this. It's a large sword, so you have to be strong to use it. It's a bit unwieldy, but it is a mighty weapon nonetheless. I hope you can defeat the Marques's son, Eric. It would make our lives more pleasant. Good luck to you. Got an iron blade. Let's look at that. Okay, so it's a D rank. Um, looks like you got a 70% accuracy with a 9 attack. So it's low accuracy, but high attack. That's kind of... Uh, not so much. I wouldn't, wouldn't really use it. Okay, you need to ride back to Merlinus. in the bushes here. Alright, here he comes. What are you going to do? You're going to do six? Ooh, nice. Good dodge. Thank you for not dying. Here they come. What are you going to do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Take that. One more? No. Definitely not one more. Okay. Here they go, they're forming, and the rain goes away. So all hell breaks loose now. Alright, this is exciting. This is exciting, here we go. Oh, actually, I need to go over here and heal you. So you can go out into the battlefield and destroy those guys. There we go, increasing that weapon level, good job. Okay, what has more defense? Um, being in the forest? Yeah, being in the forest rather than the house, so... I'll go right here. And I will switch to my sword. And I will wait, because I'm at full health. And Urk. It doesn't look like anyone can go behind Lowen. So, Urk, I'll have you go to the house. Perfect. Did we visit them yet? No. Let's try it. Is it true we're battling Castle Ostia? What could that fool of a Marques be thinking? Laos has no chance of defeating Lycia's most powerful territory. The Marquess's son, Eric, is nothing but a power-hungry dullard, and the Marquess himself is a lecker. Plain and simple. What a pair. Do they believe they're a match for an Austian general? Oh, forget everything I said. We never talked, okay? Alright, you need to storm the heck back here. Protect that Merlinus. Alright, now we need to actually storm these guys. Or actually wait. Yeah, let's wait. Okay, let's set up. What's your health at? You're, you're full health. You're full health too. Okay, you know what? Here. Item, we'll put my rapier. We'll wait right here. We will attack. No, we will not. We will switch to our wolf vile. And we will wait. 
this guy can easily attack us if we don't kill him right now. Javelin or Iron Lance? Um, I want to say Iron Lance because it's more accurate. Let's do that. All right. There we go, leveling up, Oswin. Need it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Ripped off, dude. Not good. Okay, can anyone attack my archer? No. Good. So I will leave you there. Actually, yes. Yes. You're in the bushes now, so you're fine. Okay, barter and this guy. Let's hand axe him. 612, you're done. Bam. And bam. There we go. Excellent. Okay, let's go buy some more stuff. All right, what do we need? Ooh, an armory. Here we go. Give me a couple swords. I'll take two swords. Give me a lance. I'll take one axe. Give me two bows. Excellent. I think we're set. Mm, one more sword? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, looks like we're here. We're holding the fort down. And I think we're ready. All right, this is it, closing in. Oh my god. Laos is the true throne of Lycia. Taste my lance, oh my god, don't taste it. Oh, oh my god, not good. Oh my. Three, okay, that's not bad. Come on, Lowen, I wasn't expecting that. Low and level up. You need defense and attack, please. Whoa, there we go. Thank you. Must be uh, speaking into this mic correctly. What are you going to do? Two? Huh, not. Let me step out of this, out of the way. Oh, you're going to step out of the way, too. Okay. A little draw there. Okay, where are you guys going? What are you doing? That's right. Twelve and another. Twenty-four. Finish them off. Nope. Okay, maybe not. Ouch. Alright, here we go. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do now. Yes! Finally! Six damage, not bad. Oh, you're just gonna pick at me a little bit? That's fine. <laughs> that doesn't hurt one bit. Okay, here's what I need to do. Um, let's look at spacing. This guy is gonna attack me. There's no doubt about that. But I can take another one of his hits, that's the thing. So, if I move Urk over here and wait okay yes that's exactly what I'll do here we go good watch the strategy here we go so we're gonna go on the house we're going to attack with the javelin against the boss oh that's not good yeah, you know what? How about I just kill this guy? No, you know what? Ugh. 81%. 58, 8. Um, I don't know who to attack. This is a tough decision. Okay, let's just let's just kill this guy. Okay, good. So now that I'm one step away, you can actually heal him up. So that you can take another hit from that silver lance. Um, and then we'll just figure out what we're going to do about these clowns. We'll attack with a hand axe on, on all these guys. 13. 47, 62. Here we go. 13 against them. Oh, really? Not good. Not good. Yes. Okay. 
doing well. Okay, this one. Well, we'll just kill this guy. 14. 68. That's fine. We'll do it. There we go. Use that steel sword. Alright, okay, now these guys are set to go. Oh no, you're gonna hit Sarah. Oh god. Okay, well, Sarah can survive one hit. That's fine. She can't survive two hits, so. And she's at full health, so that's fine. Alright, let's go inside the town. guys will stand next to each other. And then you guys. I don't know what you guys are going to do against these bandits, but hopefully one of them comes this way, and the other one just goes up, and Marcus can take care of... Oh, Marcus doesn't have any weapons! Wait, no, I could go to the merchant. Yes. <laughs> oh, I can take something. There we go, here. Excellent. Okay, we're set. That's all I'm going to do for now, unless I can go snipe that guy. No, no, it's not worth it. Okay. Alright, Sarah. Brace yourself. Don't get critted. What are you gonna do? Eric, stop this nonsense. I've no wish to strike down a fellow classmate. You sentimental fool. You think we're still in school? Well, let me give you an education. First you will fall, and then Hector. Ferre and Ostio will be crushed beneath my boot. Soon, all of Lycia will be under our control. Yeah, right. Just dodge out of the way of that. Okay, now you are right in our territory, so you will die. Ow. What? Okay, oh, they're going north. Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ouch. Good, good. 53, hitting through 53%. Good job, Lowen. Thank you. Alright. Oh, here comes a snipe. Oh my god. Oh! That's not bad. You got good defense, so... Great. Oh my god, that's angry. That makes me angry, though. Alright, you're gonna get it now, buddy. Decisions, decisions. Who's gonna kill this guy? Lowen, you need help. I need to destroy this archer. Eight, sixteen against him? Good. There we go, we'll double team this guy. Excellent. Yes. Good. Finish him off. I'm just worried that Mr. Eric will go and attack my sniper. But, alas... 64? Whoa, he's in the forest. That's why. Oh my god. Good thing. That would have hurt if he came through and hit me with that axe. Yikes. Alright, heal you up, Lowen. Good. Okay, now we've got the final two. Elliwood, let's attack him with your rapier. For 13, he'll hit me 12. That's fine. Or is it fine? I don't know. Let's wolf bile this guy up with 23 attack. Yes. Let's destroy him. Oh, wait. Hold on. Not yet. Let's visit this house, or village. Oh, nice! Love that music, you know what that means, guys. Again! Are you another messenger from the Marquess? Please, do not waste your time, I will not change my decision. Pardon! 
Marquez Laos did not send you? Hi, I beg for your forgiveness. It was my mistake. Say, if it's not too much trouble, might I leave with you? I'm on a journey. Marquez Laos is barring my way, and I'm trapped. I am trained in the use of staves. Please help me. Hey, hey, who's this? Priscilla. What do you do? You men. Ooh, wow, that's the same thing as heal, but like stronger. Cool. That's awesome. Woo. Excellent. Come on, I want to kill these pirates. Yeah, let's go kill some pirates. Yar. Hurry, mate. All right, let's destroy this guy, though. All right, we'll file it up. 82% with a 23 damage rating. You always been an eyesore to me, no matter how hard I tried. You two garnered all the attention, all the praise. In the classroom, on the training grounds, everywhere and everything. Eric, you always did care more about appearances than ability. If you'd had even a hint of skill, perhaps you'd... Hold your tongue! I will hear no more. No more! Alright, how about no more now? Unhand me! I am no one's prisoner! There we go, big Hector. One, two, three, four, five. No. Strength and defense, that's good. That's what you need to be leveled up in. Getting that silver lance, excellent. All right, now it looks like we gotta go. Um, we gotta go fill the, kill the stupid. Uh, these guys. We gotta go kill these two. Um, <laughs> these two pirates, and then we'll finish off the game. Oh my god! You guys gonna be able to handle them? Or do you need to use a vulnerary? What do you think? Killing edge thirteen seven. Are you gonna be able to hit him? No. Okay, here. How about you, Matthew? 714. Alright, let's try him. Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about, man! There we go. Killing pirates! There we go. Plus three. Excellent. Matthew, come on. Let's get this guy. Are you really gonna attempt to hit Merlinus? I got your back. Mm, who else? Oh, you can heal some people, right? There you go. Go heal Ellawood. Thank you for leveling up a little bit. Yes, you can heal Barter. Or you can mend him. That's fine. Perfect. Leveling up a bit. Good. Okay, I think we're set. Matthew, Matthew, critical. Oh, oh my god, eight. Yes, good dodge. Seven. One more. There we go. And Matthew, for the win, you could do the final blow. Attack up, please. Luck and speed. Eh, I guess. Alright, who needs some help? Hector, there we go. Leveling up. Ooh, almost. How about you guys? Anyone? No, you guys are set here. Alright, Matthew, finish him off. With a big hook to the face with 100% accuracy. Bam! Excellent, excellent. Good job. And that is it. Come on, Eric, get up! You, you peasants! You can't treat a proper noble like this. It's too late for niceties. Be thankful you're still breathing. Eric, you must tell me, where is your father? We searched the entire castle and there's no one here. D don't be ridiculous. My father wouldn't abandon. No, he'd never. Aphidel. Aphidel? Who's that? Hmm. Speak, Kerr. Do you want to die here? Ah! Hector. Eric, please. You must tell us everything you know. I... I just want to know where my father is. Ephidel. He appeared at the castle one year ago. He came and 
My father changed. Ostia's position had always bothered my father. He felt Laos deserved to rule all of Lycia, but he'd never gone so far as to speak of rebellion. Did you say rebellion? Ephidel had something. With it, he convinced my father to set his plan in motion. My father then sent envoys to several other Marquesses. Marquess Ferret, he had approved of the idea. What? Never, my father would have never agree to such a thing. Believe or disbelieve, that is your choice. First, Marquess Santarouz and Marquess Ferret's reply arrived. Marquess Ferret visited here six months ago to, steal his, to seal his approval. That's not possible. My father and yours argued vehemently that day. Marquess Ferret always distrusted Ephidel. He tried to convince my father to send Ephidel and the Black Fang assassins out of Lycia. My father would not be persuaded and Marquess Ferret left the castle. As you know, he then disappeared. I doubt he's still alive. No! Shut your mouth! Elowed said he wanted to hear everything. My father, he is Ephidel's puppet. He'll listen to anything that villain says. Even watch his own son die. Those are sort of people who you're dealing with. Marquess Ferret betrayed them. They would not let him live. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ah. Wait, Elliwood. Elliwood. My father is alive, and... I cannot believe he supports rebellion. There must be... There has to be a reason. I know. Don't believe any of this for an instant. My brother trusted Marquess Frey more than anyone. First, we'll find your father and discover the truth. We'll talk to my brother after that. Hector, I'm sorry. Don't look like that. Your father is surely alive, right? Yes, of course. Marquess Laos, Black Fang assassins. Now the mysterious Ephidel? I'll find them all and prove my father's innocence. Alright, saving here. Alright, that was a pretty tough chapter. Um, I'm glad that we got Urk back, and I um, can't wait to use Priscilla on the next episode, so I wonder how she'll be. I wonder if she'll level up and be able to use some weapons. Alright, we'll have to find out. We'll talk to you later.